Welcome to Annals Animated. Our video will look at an important paper in the Annals of the American Thoracic Society. Here, we discuss persistent poor health post-COVID-19 is not associated with respiratory complications or initial disease severity. COVID-19 has left medical experts racing to understand how the disease manifests in the human body and its effects on long-term health. To examine pulmonary health after being treated for COVID-19, researchers from Trinity College Dublin and St. James Hospital in Ireland surveyed 487 patients from March to May 2020. They graded the infection severity into three groups, not requiring hospital admission, requiring hospital admission, and being moved into the intensive care unit. Patient health was measured through chest radiography, a six-minute walk test, subjective health assessment, fatigue levels, and incidence of biomarkers like the C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, soluble CD25, and D-dimer. The link between initial illness, abnormal chest X-ray, distance covered in the walk test, and the perception of maximal exertion was also investigated. The researchers found that 48% required hospital admission after contracting COVID-19. Persistently abnormal chest X-rays were seen in 4% of the participants. 71% of the patients completed the walk test, with a median distance of 460 meters. 62% of patients felt that they had not returned to full health, while 47% met the case definition for fatigue. Ongoing ill health and fatigue were associated with an increased perception of exertion. However, none of the measures of persistent respiratory disease were associated with initial disease severity. These results highlight how COVID-19 infections affect patients' health after recovery regardless of infection severity. Thus, support for the rehabilitation of patients experiencing the long-term effects of COVID-19 is recommended. For more details, please read the study by Liam Townsend and colleagues. Thank you for watching Annals Animated.